Hello and welcome everyone again to another Let's Play with the developers on the Forgecraft server. My name is Raycams and I'm one of the main developers of Mine Colonies. And we're here on the Need Forgecraft server. And it's already nighttime in the colony. So I did make a little bit of progress um, today again in the, in the colony. Although it was very little indeed. So I did set up this little wall here behind the... Now the same texture pack still. Um, behind the restaurant. With those neat little things here. Uh, and we build the wall up there as well. As well as this section here our rex arches yes arches that's the name i was looking for uh we got our sawmill in production although he, he is fighting against the ever-growing trees so let's hope that we're not going to get any regrowing ones here anymore so that the builder can finally finish his job that should be better. Else the builder is going to just come here. So, yeah, he already started clearing up here as you can see. Let's help him out a little bit. That probably makes it a bunch easier. Ouch. I'm going to take some of our potatoes. Um, hi Vern Jr. Hi Ross. Hi Greg. How are you guys doing? So... I want... I think it was around here. The remaining one. Let's help add a little bit more here. And that should be done. That should be fine. The rest he should be able to handle himself then. Need to fill it this area that I got a little bit exaggerated. Um, I'm on the um, Winthor Medi Medieval Resource Pack. Ah, he's currently filling, getting rid of this section here. I see, I see. I do have a shovel. Although I'm going, I think I'm going to do let the most of it do him. I'm going to clean up this little area here so that we don't have a weird intersection going there. Hi Ninja, how are you doing? Ninja and Mimey that is, usually I think. So, we got someone complaining again in the restaurant. What might this be this time? Seems a bunch of people are around oh, there. So it seems our know. cook is unsatisfied. No, that's today. our fisherman actually. How is our cook doing? Of course. That's our cook. Uh, sorry, <laughs> of course. And it seems we're out of food in the warehouse. You're kidding me. What? Shall I have to give I up a bunch of these. Okay. Um, first of all, we're going to make a few fishing rods. <laughs> I'm doing fine as well. But first, I'm going to make a few fishing rods. If you say so. And you are... Our miner is sick. We, got, we are logging in here and everyone is sick and... Hungry. Oh no. Um, so we want to get some string. Wait. Like this. Make a few fishing rods and dump a few of our things here. Then maybe like enough and put them in the warehouse such that the delivery men can then bring them all over. But I think our colony is really coming along here. So dump all of these over here. Um, that's all. Relatively soon. Yes, 
What do we build next? He's already bringing it to the fisherman himself. Um, you're a kid. <laughs> you're sick. Not only hungry, but also sick. Oh wow, that's unfortunate. Let's check if we get a, got a farmer finally, because that's actually our main problem. That's why we were running out of food, because the fisherman didn't have a fishing rod, and our farmer um, might be still dead. Um, or potentially, oh no, here's a gate and entrance. Um, that should be all fine. And uh, that's the winter medieval resource pack. We don't have a farmer s still. Um, and I'm unsure we have enough citizens actually. But let me see if we maybe can hire someone. Hi, odd. No, you're not late at all. We actually just started a little bit ago. And you? Can Please you? Put me to work. Okay, yeah, I put you to work for 12 diamonds. Forget it. Um, yeah, we're still waiting for more citizens. But at least having the, the restaurant yes, in sir. shape should fix most things for us. So let's run over here as well. Check what are you up to? Nothing? Okay. Yeah, sometimes you have to give them some food as well, such that they don't eat it, actually. Yes. Hi, Docarus. So I sometimes forget that actually I I made it such that there are only one access, or to be exact, two accesses for the citizen hut area. And that is one's up here and one is the stairs over there. And that should allow us to provide a few of those all of them should odd all of them so so this one here is really I think that's the maximum length it goes but we do want another citizen hut that we're probably going to place either behind them let's see if maybe behind them there's enough space let's see two so build tool did I yeah forgot the build tool and the storage wait uh, then then the not medieval one so let's... do we have sticks? No. Let's make a new build tool. Oh, having only one is a very risky, risky endeavor anyway. And then the torch. Let's use both. Let's go two citizen huts already. And then we try to place them. Let's see if maybe they fit exactly behind this one here. That would be perfect. And uh, then you need uh, the other town hall. It's not the uh, r the town hall defines the style you get, and not the other things. So, okay, that's now behind, but that's kind of inside as well. So these three here is like what we see for alignments. We can just use probably probably this here to align it as well. Like this. Down. Level 5. This one is still too high. Okay. Does this still have... Does this have the area here? I'm kind of not convinced, to be honest. Yes, it has this area here. So that should have been pretty exactly what we were looking for. Let's just redo it. So... Oops, no. Let's 
And then we want this here to be just on the same thing. Like this. Or is it actually on the other side? No, that should be fine. Yeah, it's because it's the... The Asian uses the normal skin set. And it doesn't depend on the building skin, but it depends on the colony one. So that should be pretty exactly it, shouldn't it? It aligns perfectly here and we have both sides. So let's go with this one here. And then we can directly place the other one as a neighbor. Over here, over here. Although, we would want it like this, and, wait, <laughs> now I'm messing up stuff, no, one more, yes, and now, yes, so we want them all to be aligned. And that would be then the exact alignment here as well. Wait, trees. Yes, it's mirrored already. That should be pretty exactly it. those two and then we can then click build building on both of them maybe already get rid of some of those saplings here i know the lumberjack uh, that should be fine we don't have any lumberjack here so that should solve most of our issues Doo -doo -doo. But that should be pretty exact. Um, yes, and actually leaves enough space. It just fits perfectly here in the space. It allows us to put probably two more citizen huts over here. Maybe one or maybe two. And that is basically then all what we're going to need. We're going to have one, two, three, six, seven, eight. Eight times four. Four, five would then be 40 overall citizens so this setup is going to take us a decent distance and this is then also going to be perfect to defend then later because just putting a bunch of guards over here is going to solve most of our headache oops We can build two hospitals, yes, no problem, but I don't think it's worth building two hospitals, but you can build two without a problem. Okay, let me see if that is the same one, Please. yeah, yeah, me to work. put you to work for 12 diamonds, do you think, are we here in rich town? Do we have any potatoes? We have a lot of wheat, don't we? Yeah. Let's make like some bread and we should be better. Oh, you're. We have a lot of hungry citizens here. And we get our raid incoming from the northwest. So let's sleep first. Then we deliver fudge, uh, a bunch of the fudge, a bunch of the bread to the cook, and then we take care of the raid. That's northeast. That is the opposite direction what we are going right now. 
So I need to drop that off for her here. And then we run into the direction of northeast. Dum de dum. <sighs> North east. Oh, how far have how far away have they spawned? It was nor northwest, Lord. I've read east, I swear. Oh wow. They're already so close. They're coming through the tunnel again. Because that's that's exactly the whoopsie. That's exactly the idea I'm having. Oh wow. Because then we do this here. We can just kill them from above here. Wait, no. Don't do that. Ow, that hurt. I'll be Stop it. dead meat. So Stop it. Plus some friendly Ow. fire on top of that, Don't yes. So, taking care of the barbarians from distance. Uh, some of them seem to be swimming over the north though. I can see it on the map. So I do want this here to get solved as soon as possible. To then... Okay, we have to run. And go now in the exact opposite direction. Where they're coming in from the other side now. Where are they? Here. Stop it! Another one incoming here. Where is he? There. Thinks he's smart. Three left. I think the other ones are apparently still on the on the other side. Yeah, they don't have to lie down. Um, and the, uh, but there are some, uh, as far as I remember, there are some benefits. If they lie down, there's a chance they randomly heal, etc. So. Pick up all the barbarian crap here. Mm. That's all kinds of things. Oh wait, I can see the guards. Oh, there guards. The barbarians close to the library there. So they went the exact opposite <laughs> direction. I wonder how they entered there. That must, that's not very easy to come from there. They must have... They must have gone over some stairs. I'll be back. And there's another one. Here. Ooh. Ow. So, um, some axes, bows, those here, golden sword, interesting. 
Um, that's all. But now I really want to see how they made it over the wall. We're going to check on that. Because I don't remember... Ah! Fail. I don't remember creating any path over this direction. And this here should still not... Oh, they probably swam over the lava. I can't imagine that happening. Now let's double check for any letters. Because they should, from pathing, they should avoid it. So we probably have to close the lava sea as well then. No letters here. No letters here. Seems all clean. So they actually did come through the lava lake. And how did this... Always the same thing. I vein mine and I shoot myself in my own foot. That's what happens, right? That's what happens. That's what you get for using hacky mechanics. <laughs> um, oh, there is one here, but that is not enough to get up here. But I'm definitely going to close this hole here then. With those nasties. Oh, Water! Oof. Okay, I'm just going to close this just to make sure. Don't want to take any risks. So... Here. Now it's closed for sure. Unless... No, there's no... I thought maybe there was like a dungeon opening or something like this. Um, and here further south, it actually gets increasing the same thing. This is a relatively good wall. Yeah, Kugu is right. This is safe. That's not where they came from. Came from. They probably swam through the lava pit. Oh yeah, those demon rats. They're nasty. Yeah. It's because in hard mode they don't burn. However, they shouldn't be able to path through that. I think it's more like by accident they walked there because there was a little bit opening and then pushed themselves through it through the lava so is this still miss uh, sorry <laughs> yeah, yeah that's still miss i want a lot of diamonds but we do want citizens because we do need them for the farm how's it going here what? Fine. You think You're I'm getting not a strong stone enough? shovel Watch me. And this one here can deliver all the necessary blocks. Uh, get some more cobblestone here. Make a few more torches. The other way around, Ray. Make a few more torches. Um, and a bunch of spruce stuff. So. Make a set of doors. Um, 
spruce fence slabs and stairs and a lot of them we're going to need a lot of stairs again and then some slabs that should be enough potentially how is it some more slabs and some fence that was not a lot of fence gonna put a roof over Slab my head and fence a bit more fence than that even <laughs> so ray i may have the still unnamed set done for the release i have THD Medan level. Oh, nice. That sounds great, Kugo. Great job. I've never seen the set, the second form either. I think. So, want to put more of this. What's what have you requested? Then? Campfire you have requested from me. Okay, I'm going to get the campfire at least. So, so we want a campfire. Get me maybe like four again. Put them in the warehouse. Dum de dum. How's the work going? Campfire. That was I'm all you wanted for now, right? Best yes. work for so you. let's get some more gravel and coarse door. She should be able to get. So let's see what our <sighs> um, citizens actually provide. Do we still have? Do we have anyone? We're still waiting for some more visitors this episode to get us ourselves started. Um, with a farmer as soon as as we can actually go sounds great Kugo see you around um, we got this n I really like this area up here um, and it's actually a very safe area Maybe we can fit something here in the future as well. And let's look out what the miner is up to actually. What's it today then? As again waiting for the spruce wood. Do you have any with me? No, but I'm going to bring you some more of that spruce wood. I can do that for sure. It's getting night already. This one here, I'm actually the owner of the colony, fortunately. Ouch. This one is dying a bunch today. So. Spruce. And I'm going to, I'm going to first sleep quickly. And. Yeah. I think I'm going to do that next just going to sleep and then we take a bunch of dirt and make a nice dirt path over there to the miner let's take some that's still the no that's a new one Josiah what can I do for you 87 baked potatoes. Exactly what I don't have anything of at the moment. That's what you want. And who, which guard is down here? Lord. Let me recall some guards. What is happening? Okay, this one has no one assigned. Is there a way I can see which guard this is? It's that one over there. 
I know it's for sure not this one here. Let me see if recalling this one here fix. Was it you, Hudson? It was not Hudson. Let's recall some of the other guards. You can see which guards is there doing some madness. Um, it's it's more luck thing, I would say. It's potentially I don't have men and women separated, but I do have a bunch of kids living in the houses. Um, relatively often malnourished kids, so they can't get kids themselves because they're still kids. Um, I think that was the right one. I can't see anyone underground anymore. So I got a bunch of malnourished kids, and I think that's potentially why I don't... I'm not getting new kids. So that I can actually hire the people from the tavern. Plus it's relatively laggy on the server. So besides that, besides being laggy, that also makes uh, takes down the child spawn rate decently. Okay, I wanted to get some gravel and coarse dirt anyway. Let's do this. Um, yes, I wanted some gravel and coarse dirt. Yeah, I wanted this gravel and coarse dirt for the miner actually. But I'm going to check on the builder as well. Already deliver that if necessary. Okay, see? Only plain spruce timber frames are needed. I'm going to put in a few additional ones. And now that one has enough. So we can now go to our miner. Because I wanted to make a nice little road here out of different materials. I do have to make a quick iron shovel though. So... Um, the dumb shovels. Okay, so we want the path probably to start around here. And then we make it alongside the seashore. Alongside the seashore here. Uh, that's coarse dirt. Now I want to take some of that cobblestone and place it here and there in between. I gotta probably also do a little bit of this. And yeah, I think I'm going to leave those. Um, and then we like sporadically place some cobblestone and sporadically some gravel. Maybe I'm going to go only with gravel and cobblestone. That looks actually like a pretty nice mix. We're having some network issues. Apparently. Okay, we're back. Use maybe like the in-between spots. Like this. All cobble. Then we use this one to gravel. Yeah, there was some heavy lag here quickly. We have a lot of cobble in the middle. 
So we want to make this maybe another of these and cobble here on the outline. Um, the dam. Like places where we're going to place some cobblestone. We do like this. So, oops, one too high. So, over here, we want to replace probably maybe a few coarse dirt here with normal dirt that we're making into grass paths then. And do it like this. So, put some torches still around here. What do you guys think? I think that looks like a nice improvised path over here. So here we should probably destroy those two. Those are misaligned. The rest of the path. So, so this goes like here. We walk around the shore. Goes further here. Glad you're enjoying it, Odd. I do always spend a lot of times to get the paths nice done. Here. Some more cobble. Hi, Feral Wolf, how are you doing? Another cobble here. Another gravel here. Put another cobble here and here. And two gravels. Probably want to put dirt the entire area here to level that out. And probably close this weird indoor pond kinda here off accordingly. So, we got this nice little path here, and that goes up, up here. Um, some more gravel. So we want to place gravel here and here, can move two more grass paths. Yeah, I think that's fine. So that's now our our path to the miner here. <laughs> I think that is pretty neat path over here. What? Wire shock? How did this happen? IE wire shock Where can a citizen die around here of IE wire shock? Where it is 481 232 232 on what height 72 Oh This he gives damage. Oh Oh, the miner wanted stripped spruce logs, yes. But we need to find a solution for this. Yeah, they were chewing some wires around the, the relay here. On this side, it's not a problem. On this side, it is.
And this side, they're not able to get hurt. I think that's fine. This is going to... Ah! Okay, so this is all, this is also... Caused other issues. Meh. Um, our wire linking from here to here. Ouch. I think that's the only wire that can hurt. That should block it off for now. I would tear two up as well, just to make sure. I'm going to want, I want to do, do move this to a better location as well in the future. I think down here those wires are... Oh no, those wires also hurt. So I want uh, to prov prevent them from walking in here. So... I think now they can't get hurt anymore. Already happened to you as well. <laughs> the, they're insulated. Insulated LV. What I need is tough fabric. That is tough pricey. Um, hi old heart, welcome to the stream. And we are on Forgecraft, actually. So let's see how if they're doing making progress. Oh nice, the sawmill is almost ready. And this one here. How's that one doing? Still clearing out area, okay. Let's sleep a little bit. And I think then we think about a better... Oh, Colton! Let me see if I can assign Colton quickly to the farmer. Run! We want Colton as a farmer. Ah! No. Already took a job at the guard tower. Disappointing. But is let let me just double check. Is this maybe here on manual? To make it sure it's automatic. To get the citizen assigned there. Yeah, the sawmill knows how to strip logs. Problem is that the sawmill has a stupid recipe for stripping logs. Let me see how the mine shaft here is developing when I find out where it goes that and that is going quite deep already as you can see yes a bunch of resources here already too clay silver uranium So, let's go up here again. Let's find a bed real quick. I think the miner definitely has a path now. That is a level 3. A level 3 miner workstation. A level 3 miner hut. Sleep quick. So, back here. And that's a mechanism, uranium apparently. Yeah, that's the medieval spruce style. Do, do, do. I had a similar pattern than what there is here. We're still waiting. Still waiting for more citizens to get the farmer. Hi Tinty Tots, how are you doing? So, we might think about fixing this here now. Um, to be fair, might be worth waiting until the smeltery is ready. 
So we know how this is going to turn out. Can we build this already? No. Let's check out our university. I hope there's still someone working there. Else, this research is going to take for forever. And I'm going to fire some guards to get them someone to work here. No. Luana is our researcher. How does it look? We got the composter finished and the smeltery almost. That is, that is some good news. Um, what do we want to start on next? Probably maybe we should get us an unanvil. Let's, let's smell down. Maybe... Let's wait before we... Until we have the that one. See what we can unlock here. Ah, let's get taunt. Rotten flesh, bones and spider eye. Yeah, let's get that next. Ah, uranium. <laughs> So, and people are mourning, obviously. Um, spider eye. Spider eye. Bone. Um, and rotten flesh. There we go. Do we have any fish in here? No. <laughs> so, now we go to the university and... And get that unlocked. And I, I do want to start set up some proper guarding paths while we are at it so not your uranium so yes this one here has no one but that one here has and that one here that is coarse dirt normal dirt what's it today then so we want patrol find a set so so you're going to Patrol a little bit around our hospital here. So we got that one patrolling around there. There we don't have anyone. There we got another guard tower. So. How is the work going? And we got you patrolling as well. Now you're going to patrol a little bit around here. And you go come out again. Patrol around here. Come down here. Walk around this builder hut. And come back. Okay. Um, maybe. <sighs> what can we do with it? We can make hunger trap, binding card, smelting, monster jerky. Monster Cherokee, Monster Cherokee, only with Botania. 
Um, next guard tower. Let's go to the one behind the lumberjacks. There should be someone assigned there. Um, set patrol position. So this one is going to come up out here. I'm going to walk around here. Then walk in front here. Come down here. Get down here. Make a little circle here. Come down here. Make only a little circle. And then he comes back up. Finish a circle. Here. But actually I don't want that. I want them to patrol, if possible, many different positions. Such that they have a decent outlining around the I colony. I love the smell of fresh timber. And this one here is almost finished. So we want to close off this river here. Do, do, do. We're going to have to improve this, but for now at least we want this to be closed. So... So definitely this here we want to be elevate want to have elevated on the same level as this here. But that is definitely clear. The sum is almost finished. That's neat. But this river here oh, we gotta get rid a little bit of this forest. Especially because it's so dense. And make a nice channel out of this. Yes. This is fine. I'm going to need this here. I'm probably going to have to elevate a decent amount of this area over there. And our builder finished. This sawmill, very nice. Progress. And we probably take this until the wall then. And then we make like a decorational hole in the wall. To make it seem like that's where it ended. Okay. So, the question is, do we have to have it all the way up here on the high level? Or do we want, uh, I think we want it to decrease a little bit at least. I wonder if there are rats around here? The Plague Dector got a rat on the leash. Okay. 
no further questions. Okay, then we got the first level. So I think we can, on this level, go one lower. And then go here, one lower. And then go potentially like here, one lower. And then end this around here. That should be fine. That would be like pretty much exactly like this. Then on the other side, we want this to continue a little bit longer than actually this. And then we can do something like this. And have the river outline here in this little thing. I think that's fine. So just the other side is actually what really bothers me. I have questions as well. I have so many questions and I'm not sure I want the answers. That is the... I think that's my gist of this. Um, did, um, more, no, not a shovel. I wanted a pickaxe. Was it? I have. What did I want to craft? An axe. I wanted an axe. Huh. Okay. Let's get rid of a few trees here. So we got a nice little lake over there, I'm seeing. Yeah, we can use a uh, portcullis exactly for that. So this area here is way too high, way too elevated to fit nice with this river. Although we do have a nice river over there. Got an ask me in question. Um more dirt and get some of these in here so let's go quickly to sleep again and then we can Continue our party here, but first let's get some sleep to not getting the guards too busy Here that we want closed Dum de dum sleeping Yeah, that's Okay, that one is now working on this citizen hut as well. Great. Um, it's going to need a campfire relatively soon though. Let's get already a few campfires over here again. I think the rest might be provided by the demon then. I'm starting to feel like asking if he needs help. But the last time I asked someone if they needed help in the nether, I... Oh, Odile grow, grew up. Let's hope that is our new... Uh, who is you? Who are you? Tell me. I can help, I guess. You can help, you guess? For seven diamonds? Not sure I want this. Let's see if we can get a farmer out of Odile. No, all that got a sign somewhere already. Meh. But we have another one up there, unless ah, that's okay, that's you. Um, the nether 
Why not call it like warped? Like the nether warped clocks. Might be a short name and relatively accurate. I do not like this river ending here like this. I might make this a river through the entire colony that falls down here and is going to make a little until it falls down in the depths here. Pouring. Yeah, I'm definitely going to continue with this here. I make this a nicer ending as well. For now, we are mainly concerned about all of this here. This is why we do this. Yeah, his his village his set is not evil enough to give it an evil name which is probably also what is giving him a hard time to come up with a name how about something maybe like last bastion or something like this would be like a bastion against the the dangerous and horrible nether This area definitely mo mainly on this Y level, right? Um, probably even above. At least, at least like this. Happy Pony Town. Just or just go like real art on it. Green, blue. You know, like, was it Picasso that had a blue face? This is Kugo's blue face. Hey, yeah, maybe Nether Outpost could be interesting from a name. Or Lost Outpost or something like that, yes. Um, dumping some of my stuff here. I don't need all those shovels. Or maybe I'm going to need most of them. Prince had a purple face. <laughs> this could be Kugo's blue face. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Um, since it's, since it's kind of in hell and it's very hot, it could be the Australia set. Like everything there is trying to kill you and it's very hot. Sounds like Australia for me. So, uh, <laughs> everyone likes the Australian set. So we don't have to do it all at the thing, but we want to have it like something like this, right? That builds up. You mean it's it's the nether is boring compared compared to Australia, so would kind of be an insult for Australia. I can I can get that point. 
Um, we're out of more dirt. More dirt! Let's... So we want to go in this direction here. Um, and then we want to go under here. <laughs> we thought the Netherlands was Holland. I kid you not, on German television they once tried to to choke about that. And what they ended up doing was like asking people, uh, in the World Cup tonight, uh, Holland is going to play the Netherlands. Who is going to win this game? And then asked people. And some people actually were then coming out with their expert opinions on this. It was rather hilarious. We wanted like three wide. Um, I think that might be just the perfect <coughs> opening. And then we, from there it goes just like, down, and from here it just has like a stronger fall, and we'll then go like, really underground, um, let's abuse this pickaxe here quickly. I'm going to go underground like here. We're going to make then some like a bit further. And we're going to then put some um what's the name? Some iron bars here. And have it go in there. I think that might be a pretty neat thing. So, we got some more dirt to place with that. I think that's a pretty neat camp channel here. Oh. Maybe more like this. But definitely not a place for a guard to play around. That is something I'm pretty sure about. So. So. I want to remove this. Now we see this here flowing, flowing down there, right? Elevating it a little bit. We want to elevate it more. Like this. Uh, where's our other shovel? Here. More. More. Is it maybe just enough for our use case? <gasps> or do we want it to come out a little bit higher? I would like that to come out a little bit higher. Let's get... S no, let's place the dirt over there. Then we get some buckets. And then we go and work on fixing that stuff up. We do want to make the sides also with cobblestone here. And then probably offer a few little bridges and make these and make the 
floor a bit more interesting. Yeah, we're going to need packets. Took all our dirt now. So now we can go there, get some more dirt, and get some buckets. Oh, hi. And then we can see if we don't have a visitor. It's getting night as well. Is that still the. Yeah, that's still you know the what? grumpy no, guy who wants. Yeah, not good enough for seven diamonds, that's for sure. So, we dump a few of our things. And we get some dirt. Do we have iron here? Only the quartz one. So we want to maybe use this here. Um, we get some sleep. And check out our builders. That one is only needing them doors. Great. Gets a quick cookie. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Get this one you build. Wahoo! This looks fantastic. What's next? So you actually need the doors. Need, need it was. Hmm. <laughs> going to make a yes, bunch for you. Lord. You're not Wahoo, going to ask me in a, in a while What's next? about the spruce, spruce doors anymore. I have an entire, yeah, I have an entire thing of cookies here. Mm. However, because of Corona, I unfortunately am not uh, able to share them physically with the entire class. That is very unfortunate. <laughs> um. We had um, we had risotto for lunch mm, with uh, shiitake mushrooms, bean sprouts, kale, some wild rice. We forgot the obviously we forgot the buckets. So, and actually what we can also do is when the river enters here, we can have a bit of that river go down here and make this a little river basin. But I'm not sure yet, maybe we're going to, not, not now at least, because we do want to use some of this building space for buildings as well. I don't voluntarily eat kale kale, but I think if you incorporate it into other dishes, <clears throat> it's um, pretty good. 
Oh, I don't have any buckets. So, for example, if you put kale in the risotto, you're not going to n notice it at all. Or we, for example, make um, bean patties as well for lunch. And you're going to also not notice it at all from inside the bean patties. So there's a few ways, I feel, where you can make that work. Um, chup chup. We have to go the correct way up. Have we usually incorporated in the dishes themselves? So then we want to go down here. And we need some more source blocks, it was. Here. Where's my other bucket? Here. Oops. No, my dirt. So you want to have this here going down. And this here too. Then we can source from here in the middle. This water seems pretty stable now. I think I can take from any location. Yes. So, here. That build a nice area to this. Maybe we do want it a little bit higher. Let's swim over there. Just carry around the sink with me. Hi, Nightmate. Nightmare Vortex. How are you doing? So, and it's still, so we want to water lock those stairs. Yes, oh, like this. I think there's been a terrible mistake. There's not enough space for my family to live here. Um, to dumb. And then we have to do a proper filling down here as well. So we got this area here now filled. I think that waterfall is... I just hate... Why does water logging make this so ugly? Can someone tell me that? Ah, my bread! No! I need this bread. Come on. Kidding me, right? Stealing my bread from me. Why does this get so ugly? Lovely day today. Can you tell me that, Mojang? Okay, so let's go back to our river with our bread. Double check if we not don't have any citizen to hire. Apparently not. Still the same guy. <coughs> Yeah, this is Forgecraft. It's a very particular uh, mod pack. I 
to test mods altogether, etc. Mm -hmm. So I think this here is fine. I don't see a problem with this. So... But there is not an official mod pack for it. <coughs> I'm sorry. Particularly. So we want this lower area here to be filled. this area here so hi how was it again Mizen? So this fills in most of this Okay, so I got the most of the lower area here fitted. Now, how was it exactly again, Mizen, with the... Um, ...getting the water here properly working? Um... Um, so we want this here. Uh, we got 25 citizens already, he's saying. Eek. This means we do need beef. And research the next restriction. Let's me check out of that. Beef. Only 17. And steak. None. So we definitely have to go out there and get ourselves some steak. So we can research the next citizen amount. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, she says I'm lacking living space now. So I am at my citizen limit now. That means... Hmm. This is not good. I had hoped to be a bit better set up with 35. But we do have a lot of children. Mizen, where is Mizen? So let's let's go to the sea. Um he said if we get those water plants set up they do most of it for us Wait, I want probably to get th this now here properly done yeah having the kelp do the work for us this to be probably up here as well like this probably even on both sides like this to be exact so no that's a bit of an overkill I think that's fine so let's get some of that kelp <sighs> And can you see the can you hear the kids there we have so many kids in our colony it's insane they're not growing up 
ever. Let's get some of that kelp. Dum de dum. How's our fisher? Oh, how is our fisherman doing? I'm going to take all those fish to the cook. Great idea. With shade here walking around to the fisherman. <clears throat> like kids don't have sleep requirements, it's more that we're not supplying our cook very well with you know food. You want that little worm. <laughs> and that causes those issues. So she should be now getting that fish cooked I just gave her. <laughs> I completely forgot. There's currently a bug oh, um, that we fixed dum, today, dum, dum, but dum. it's not fixed here yet. That doesn't let the delivery man pick up <laughs> at certain buildings. What is it? We have fish. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh wait, I gave it to the wrong woman. Oh, am I not good enough for you? Huh? Here, take the fish. So, and let's get some kelp and use it as water elevators, as Pharaoh Wolf put it. So, just put the kelp all over the floor there, and it does the rest for me. That sounds like magic. Let's get some black. This here. We got this dolphin speed thing, that's good. Fast up, getting some air. Here we go down again. I don't want to entirely destroy the kelp. But take a decent amount. So, with the dolphin swimming around here. Good that you told me. I completely forgot that we are having an assistant co cook, I think, hanging around. Uh, maybe. And doing nothing, actually. The, the assistant co cook does the on request recipes, but we don't actually need that. How much kelp did we get? Almost a stack. I think that's fine. Let's go back to our colony. And that I know. Yes, two workers at the restaurant with that then. One to fulfill requests and one to do the cooking. But since you remembered, reminded me, I can't fire that one. I don't need that one taking care of the requests at the moment. And I think we got one there hired already. Even though we have a level 2 restaurant. Or do we? No, we only have one. Only Vera cooking here. But she's cooking a bunch of that fish now. And we got someone stuck behind here. Someone very smart apparently. So let me already get this here. Then I want to get two pickaxes <laughs> and then put some of our stuff here away, tropical fish. So yeah that was um, Mechless doing, he implemented the on request. 
so we want this here to be like this. Now, so. Um, don't I have any cob... I do have some more cobblestone with me. I can put the diamond pickaxe here. <laughs> Do this here. And prevent them from falling in them as well. Please, Colton, walk out. What can I do for you? No, it means that players can request food, like Pam's food to be created, for example. I don't have so much cobble with us. And we will probably want this to be covered then maybe maybe we use for this part here we use this and then we use some stairs here like this I think that might work um, on the middle that is not so 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 here that's what I wanted and I got this going down um, and close this oh, off no. We want to improve this later, but for now, I think that is pretty neat. <sighs> um, this here, we can now guard store here and install some of that kelp. Maybe even under here in the tunnel, we want some kelp. Dum de dum. I definitely want some kelp hanging around randomly here. Mm, mainly in this area here, right? Let's start with this. Do, do, do. So, and let that elevate the waters for us. Oh, I can. Apparently, not to make it elevate water, though. So, so let's let this here do some fruity labors and we get some more cobblestone at the warehouse. So, that shouldn't be so difficult to find some cobblestone around here. How much cobblestone do we have actually? 
cobble two. No cobblestone. Again. Okay, I'm going to leave the cobblestone with you then. And we check in our private storage. So let's get some a little bit of cobble here. So and finish that part off. Here we go. And get a little bit of that. So here it already looks like a neat entrance and exit, but th this entire area here is still pretty horrible. You do want this to be more like. Like this. Oops. Doing some of this. And welcome, fly to. Fly to, fly to official. And welcome to the stream. We want this probably then to be more like not so completely stony, like this. And then we want to create a little bridge over it. Separate some spruce wood. Put a bunch of things away in our inventory. Make some slabs. Make some slabs. Maybe make this some. It could be a relatively easy bridge. Just to see that it's a bridge, actually. Um, this is a private server, so it's Forgecraft server. So unfortunately, we can't give out the IP to anyone else, besides it being whitelisted. So, so I think that's not so bad, actually. A little waterway over it. Now some of our kelp is growing. So I think we got some <coughs> nice progress going on here. Let me just check out our our town hall. Doop, doop, doop. It's over here. What does it say us? Yeah, we have 25 citizens and still four children. So that allows us to fill the farmer and the smelter. Plus one more researcher or anything else we want. Plus, do we have someone at the sawmill already? We have someone at the sawmill. Why? I'm going to fire that person at the sawmill really quick. We don't need anyone at the sawmill at the moment yet. Good night, Greg. See you around. We don't need anyone at the sawmill yet. That is not um, as important as our farmer. We definitely do need all the other things. You should get hired then. At the farm automatically. Yes, I tried to make the patrol path. I'm going to further optimize those patrol paths in the future. But I did try to have the patrol paths in a way that I can add then a few more patrols later. Such that we got some overlapping paths then. 
Yes, Odile. Looks to me like a good harvest. Yeah, looks to me like a good harvest too. So, Dito. Running through the tunnel as a bit of... The style of the tunnel is a little bit of a stretch. It's a little bit too futuristic. I need to have to adjust to that in the future probably. Let's go up here. So we got a few open projects still of things we want to be done. So we won't need this um, windmill adjusted to probably a better position. Not only here, but maybe put it behind here, like in this location, and we can make it rather big. Um, I don't. I see. I do think he will come back, or we can use this position, but make it a little bit taller and more windmilly. And then we have all the water fun over there we want to finish and then besides all our colony upgrade as well um stoop to do so um so we are getting farther along it is getting fairly late as well we are getting close to two hours of streaming I'm going to have to be offline to go to sleep now. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Thanks everyone for tuning in. And thanks everyone for engaging in the chat with me as always. If you want to support the development of this mod, you can follow, subscribe and become a Patreon. Um, tomorrow at the same time we're going to have our Patreon server stream as usually. So I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. See you around. Until... Then...